Welcome to the Technivorous channel. We are talking all about Kira questions today, and today's question is, how can I make the supports easier to remove? So we're going to talk about Kira supports and support interface right now. And here we have Kira open. This is a really awkward model. It is a pauldron for a suit of cosplay armor, and as you can see, there is really no suitable way to orient this to print well without support. I can minimize it. I believe by using one of these ends right here but that is also minimizing my contact with the build plate and I'm definitely gonna need support in a lot of places so this whole area right here is gonna be supported and today we are talking about support interface now I have my settings pretty well dialed in for easy removal of support so let's go ahead and take a look now you don't see the interface settings under support until you activate them so let's go ahead and type in interface and you'll see all these extra settings in support okay uh, what you're gonna want to do is adjust a couple of these so the interface thickness is the depth of plastic between the actual support and the model increasing that will give you a better surface to print on top of and a better contact surface but it might also lead to more fusion so the main thing with the support interface is going to be the interface density here. Um, so this is going to determine how thick it is in the place where it touches your model. So mine is set to 33.33% and that is actually not bad. Let's go ahead and take a slice. We'll zoom in on the support interface itself in the preview mode and I can get you a good idea of what we're talking about because basically it builds up our support and then it stops three or four layers below where it needs the support and then it builds up this little X pattern that's super easy to remove. Now sometimes when you rip the supports off it leaves little chunks of that X pattern and if you scrape those off they come off really easily but if you sand them you will sand them down and you actually make the surface rougher. So let's, let's get in here and take a close look at exactly what I'm talking about. And the X pattern I'm talking about is this grid. There is other settings in here for the interface but the grid works really really well um, so if you're having problems with your support not coming off of the model uh, decrease the density just a little bit I wouldn't go below 25 percent and then go ahead and increase the resolution a little bit because that will make sure that it prints a little bit further away from the model. So you don't want to increase that too much or it'll try to print in thin air above the support and it'll pretty much make your support useless. So um, this is one of those things where if you're having issues with it sticking at the bottom, there are other things other than your support interface that could be causing problems such as not moving enough in the vertical direction and compressing your layers or any sort of over extrusion on the interface layer can cause the interface to stick to the print. Uh, if you're using these settings and they are the stock settings for the Ender 3, it should work pretty well. So let's zoom in, see if we can get an actual look at this interface because it's gonna be right at the top of the support where the support meets the model here. And we can get in there pretty well actually. I'm gonna scroll around here. Um, so these patterns here, I have three layers, okay? Zoom out a little bit so I know where I'm at. Okay, so the light blue in here, that is your support. The bluish purple color, that is your support interface, okay? So uh, increasing the thickness will make this further away from the model as well. Just put more lines in between there. You can see it's at point, point 0.8 there. Um, so this is one of those things where uh, you're gonna want to be pretty specific so increasing the resolution will make these squares smaller um, which will make it more contact points and kind of make it a more, this is basically like your density uh, for infill but for this grid pattern here so this is basically what you need to look at when you're having problems issue or having issues removing support from your model um, the interface is the best way to solve that. I can say, before adjusting your interface settings, uh, make sure you have tree support checked. I did a video on that the other day. Uh, I use it for pretty much everything. Uh, in the video I did the other day, it actually saved me over half of the amount of filament it would have used over regular support. So definitely worth checking out. 
and if you're using tree support the interface is going to be easier to remove as it is because these are kind of randomly placed they're not stuck in straight lines which give it structural stability so these are pretty easy to rip off and you'll have a much better time if you're using tree supports once you get the tree supports set up and you print a couple models with it you may look at changing your interface settings a little bit but for the most part as i said the stock ender 3 interface settings are pretty much on point so if you're having issues with stuff sticking to your model you're probably having other mechanical issues such as over extrusion or under uh, climb on the z-axis so that's going to be it for this video, guys. I love answering Kira questions, so if you have any or there's anything you'd like to know, leave them in the comments down below, and I will see you in the next one. Technivorous out. Stick around, guys. I got another YouTube recommended video for you right here, and if you haven't already, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Make sure that you smash that like button. We'll see you in the next one. Technivorous out.